All right. Thank you, everyone, for the wait. We're going to start the session now. Myself, Lovepreet Verma. I'm the founder of this company. And this demo will take approximately 35 to 40 minutes. If you would have any question or query, you can ask me in between uh, the demo as well. I would be happy to answer. So uh, now I'll begin the demo class. We are the first institute in India having PhD English experts in our team and our all trainer are IDP and BC certified. Uh, guys, just want to confirm last time is my voice is audible to all of you. Screen is visible. Navjot, yes. Pringvardhan, Priyanka, yes. Sujata. Thank you. What about Sujata, Priyanka and Navjot? Is my voice is audible? Uh, hi, it's not, I, uh, you're not clear, clearly audible to me. Your voice is breaking in between. Hi, uh, is is it audible now, Priyanka yes. and Navjot? Yes. Okay. Navjot, it's not audible to you? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, great. Right. So guys, we are the first institute having PhD English experts in our team and you're going to get training from IDP and BC certified trainers only in normal centers, normal centers just hire those trainers who achieve six each or seven each. Those students turn into trainer. We don't hire such freshers. So are every of our trainer going to have a great certification and experience as well. Every day zoom live instructor led classes will be there one and a half hour to one hour 45 minute class Monday to Friday, Saturday, there will be mock test Sunday, we share resource material. One mobile application we will provide you in which you will be able to see your own updated recordings. For an example, if you're going to attend the class today, it's going to be recorded at the back end that you can review by tomorrow in your mobile. Plus you will be able to see previous 200 plus sessions from different trainer. Apart from the zoom live classes, we will give you one mobile application in, in which you can review your own classes. For an example, uh, if you miss any session, your concept will not be missed. It will be in your mobile. You will not be in the class, but your concept will be in your mobile. Apart from this, we will give you one practice digital account. In this account, you can practice every day four modules, reading, listening, writing, 160 plus test will be there. Apart from the live classes, you can do lots of practice at the back end because we believe like one to two, one and a half to two hour classes are not enough to get a triple seven or higher bands. So we provide extra support so that you can practice at your home as well. Practice account dedicated mobile. This is the second mobile we will provide you in which if you don't have laptop or computer, still you will be operate entire 160 test practice test on your mobile. Regular assignments will be there. Regular feedback will be there. Five full length mock test we will provide you. I'll show you this account in upcoming slides. So guys, this is kind of account we will provide you. Let me show you the live interface. Okay, is this account is visible guys? It says win your English logo here. Verma is written here. Okay, so after enrollment, we will give you this kind of digital account. Your name will be here and this account will be validate for six months. Whether you're going to get training from us for one month or two months, you're going to get the material for six months. If you click on online test, you will be able to see two modules IELTS academic IELTS journal. If you click on IELTS journal, you will be able to see journal. First, you will be able to see five full length mock test. Why full length? It will take 152 minutes. 82 questions will be there. It's going to be real IELTS exam that you're going to face in the real IELTS exam. Same structure will be there. First listening will start. Once you will be done with the listening, reading will start. Once you will finish reading, the writing will start. And once you will attempt any test, you will see your answers right away. How many wrong you did, how many right you did, you will be able to see the analysis. If you click on journal readings, there will be five sections. 
every section further contains five journal readings. So five into five, 25 readings will be there. Every test is going to be time bounded test. Same structure that you're going to face in the real IELTS exam. 40 question, 60 minutes. So five into five, 25 journal readings you're going to be have. If you click on listening, again, there will be 25 listenings will be there. You can do one listening, reading, writing, and speaking at your own and at home apart from the live classes. If you click on journal writings, again, five section, every section further going to be have five journal writing sections and every section further going to be have two question writing task one and writing task two. 60 minutes will be there. So two into five, 10, 10 into five, uh, 50. You're going to be have 50 journal writing task over there. Similarly, you can attempt speaking task test over there. And apart from this, you will have access to academic and for academic students, you're going to have access of journal vice versa. Similarly, academic test will be there. Academic 25 readings will be there. 25 listenings will be there. 50 academic writing task will be there and speaking. If your grammatical skills are not up to the mark, you can go into challenge zone and you will see lots of grammatical concepts over there. Once you will attempt any test, you will be able to see your own analysis. Apart from that, guys, if you go to our website, veneerenglish.com in the download section, you will be able to see mobile application. After the enrollment, we will give you this kind of mobile app access. We'll give you the license key once you will download it. And if you are a student of our academic or journal, you will be able to see the app in the mobile like this. You will be able to see your own videos in your mobile, just like YouTube. And guys, go to our website and see the, uh, you can read all the reviews done by our students as well. Uh, students have posted amazing reviews. Uh, we have till today, we have 121 five star reviews and zero negative review. Coming back to the presentation, just give me a second. All right, so guys, I have showed you this account. It will be validate for six months and this app will be validate for six months as well. This is going to be a schedule of our classes from Monday, from first week till fourth week, Monday to Friday, there will be classes. Two to three module will be covered in the classes. Vocabulary class will be there on everyday basis. Speaking will be there everyday basis. You're going to get the feedback of speaking every day. It's one to one speaking, no group discussion, writing task as an assignment. You're go going to get every day. So basically in India, most of the student facing trouble in writing and speaking domains. So we are putting some extra emphasis on that. This is basically IELTS intense program it's in which we will help you in the live classes. And apart from the live classes, you will have enough material to attempt at your own end Monday to Friday classes. Saturday mock test, all the four module will be assessed and your trainer will assess your performance where it is going. Sunday, we share blog, study material, videos and tips so that we can add value to your learning. Apart from this, guys, once you will share any assignment in the group, your trainer will pick up and he or she will evaluate your task as per IDP and BC standards. If you see here, it's uh, task achievement, coherence and cohesion, lexical resource, grammatical in range and accuracy. This is the writing task, which was assessed by our one of our trainer and uh, you're going to get the band score as per IDP and BC standards. Now I will show you guys how the listening is going to be there in the real classes until this point. Any confusion? Sujata, Navjot, no. Premvardhan, Priyanka. Okay. No confusion. So, uh, just one question from my side. Yes, sir. So, let's say suppose in uh, writing, so if you are writing any of the tasks, so the trainer will tell that in where uh, skills you are learning behind, so in grammatical, for example, then mm -hmm. after in some of the words, which is 
very similar so you should not add those similar words in mm -hmm. writing so that should be different so that kind of things uh, he or she will be telling you right? mm -hmm. you mean like if you would have any grammatical mis mistake then what would happen okay basically this will be taken care by your trainer for sure if you will do mistakes your trainer will help you to eradicate your mistakes right he or she will guide you the concept like if there would be you know more mistakes on the subject verb agreement preposition or what type of mistake you are making he or she will elaborate it and update you the concept okay so ultimately yes if there will be grammatical errors or any mistakes see that's why i mean that is that's why we come into the picture if everything going to be perfect at your end you won't need any training right so training yeah. comes into the picture if there would be mistakes then only you know the need of trainer will arise okay so hope i cleared your point sir okay thank you all right so guys in our classes now i'm going to show you what will happen in the listening classes initially 5 to 10 minutes your trainer will give you tips and trainings inform you what type of listening questions will be there in the real ielts exam and how to tackle where to focus where not to focus if you would have special query or you are having special problem you are facing with like you are facing difficulty in solving map kind of question you can ask your trainer that i am facing trouble in such specific question then he or she will let you know the you know logic behind it how to solve it so once you will get 5 to 10 minute training on on listening day your trainer will ask you to write down 1 to 40 numbers on your notepad so once you will write down 1 to 40 numbers on your notepad this kind of listening will be played by the to play it just for 30 seconds just give me a second is this screen is visible guys yes okay just give me a second and why I'm going to play it for 30 seconds so that you can check the quality of the audio and video. Some question form. Yes, please. Where should I post it to? Could you send it to 27 R Bathnot Place? A R The play is really just the starting point. But maybe researchers should consider these sorts of sounds in urban design. Okay, was it audible to all of you guys? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. So basically once you will get 5 to 10 minutes tips and trainings, your trainer will ask you to write down 1 to 40 numbers on your notepad. Once you will write down this kind of video will be played at front of you and once you will write down answer from first till 40th the real answers will be shown to you by the trainer and he or she will dictate you all the answers from first till 40th and if you would have any query for an example 27th you got a instead of e you can ask your trainer i got a and why it is e for 27th then he or she will go back to 27th question and provide you the solution provide you the logic behind it why it is e and why it is not a now i'm going to show you how the reading is going to be there in the similar similar manner your trainer will you know spend 5 to 10 minutes on reading tips and trainings what type of reading questions will be there how to attempt where to focus where not to focus after that this kind of screen will be shared to you and you will do 3 to 4 this kind of readings and your trainer will explain you how to read the instructions that is very important after that he or she will update you how to read the questions how to mark the keywords once you will read the questions you will be given 8 to 10 minutes to read the paragraph once you will read the paragraph into 8 to 10 minutes you will come up with certain answers then the real answers will be shown to you and if still you would have any query like 11th you got c instead of b you can ask your trainer that i got c and why it is b then he or she will go back to that question and explain you the logic behind it why it is 
B and why it is not C. Why I'm saying this that you would have full freedom to discuss your problems and queries in the class right away. Once you will attempt it, you will be able to discuss each and every problem with the trainer. Now I'm going to discuss guys how to get more than seven bands. What are the essential factors to get higher bands? Any doubt till this point? No. Okay. Sujata, Navjot, Priyanka. No. Okay. All right, guys. So basically there are four parameters. Lots of students complain that they got low bands in writing and what is the you know logic behind it. Uh, on regular basis, we attend uh, IDP and BC seminar. We are certified from IDP. So we know what are the, you know, glitch over there. What, what are the uh, essential fragments or uh, parameters which uh, should be taken care of. So basically there are four pillars, four parameters, task achievement and response, coherence and cohesion, lexical resource, grammatical range and accuracy. These four pillars having zero to nine bands. If you get seven bands in task achievement and response, six in coherence and cohesion, five in lexical resource, 6.5 in grammatical range and accuracy, then the average of these four will be your band scores. So what is task achievement and response? Task achievement and uh, uh, Rishma, you just joined the class. Uh, we have started the writing task two: how to get more than seven bands. So just stay there in the class. Whatever you missed, I will explain you at the end of the session. Okay. All right. So task achievement and response means how you going to achieve the task, how you going to respond to the task. For an example, Introduction alone has three parts, background information, paraphrase the statement plus thesis statement. If you miss any of these three parts, you will not get the full bands of task achievement and response. Plus, if you will write down less than 250 words, still you will not be able to achieve the full bands of task achievement and response. Coherence and cohesion implies a perfect linkage between ideas, paragraphs and concepts and lines as well. An ideal writing task too should be linked from the very first line of the introduction till the last line of the conclusion with the help of connectors. Furthermore, moreover, besides, in addition to that, firstly, secondly, thirdly, proper structure should be there. The coherence of ideas should be there. Lexical resource means what type of vocabulary you're going to use, whether you're going to use simple vocabulary word, high vocabulary word. Some students just use high vocabulary words, even they are not sure of the meaning of those words. So ultimately they end up with low band. So we will not use any word which we will not sure of. Plus grammatical range and accuracy. Grammatical range and accuracy means what type of sentence structure you're going to use, whether you're going to use simple sentence, compound sentence, complex sentence, complex compound sentence, or you're going to write down in passive voice, even punctuation matters, guys. So we teach our students how to work on these four pillars to get higher bands. If you focus on these four things, definitely you get higher bands. These are the five type of essays. Any one type of essay would come in the real IELTS exam. Opinionating essay will be there. Advantage, disadvantage essays, discussion essays, problem solution essays, direct question essays. Every kind of essays having its own treatment. We cannot apply one treatment to all of the essays. So we'll teach you in our classes how to deal with these essays individually. Now, this is the high band structure, guys. I will take more 10 to 15 minutes. So just stay there in the class. It's really going to be benefit uh, for you. So guys, this is the high band structure. If you will follow this structure, you'll definitely get higher bands. As I said, introduction has three parts, background information, journal comment or journal comment plus paraphrase the topic plus thesis statement. If you miss any of these three factors, you will not get the full bands of task achievement and response. Now, what is background information? Background information is basically an information which tells something about the topic in the past. 
for an example in yester years or in previous years people used to wear simple clothes but owing to the advent due to the advent of modernization and globalization masses tend to wear sophisticated clothing so we have shown the extent from the past till the present i used masses will not use people people again so we'll use synonyms instead of people i used masses now on certain topic it's hard to make the background information due to the sensitivity of time in that scenario we can write down journal comment journal comment is just like nowadays people tend to wear sophisticated clothing owing to modernization and globalization that's it plus paraphrase the statement paraphrase the statement implies you need to convert the question into your own words in the introduction you cannot write down the exact question in the introduction so you have to convert it paraphrase it some people believe that others are against this just like that now thesis statement thesis statement is a great indicator guys it tells the reader or it indicates the reader that what we going to do or write down in further body paragraph i am going to discuss this view in subsequent paragraph it is a thesis statement it also links the introduction with the body paragraph as i said coherence and cohesion is very important so thesis statement links the introduction with the body paragraph now in body paragraph it has been seen that student write down so many points 10 15 16 points but they fail to elaborate they fail to justify there are three major things idp and bc says you need to write down one point in one paragraph ideally explain it well elaborate it well support it with example that's it you need to elaborate it you need to justify it with the example that's it your paragraph is ready i'll show you this step in upcoming slides how to do that conclusion in conclusion you need to write down entire gist of the essay crux of the essay nichod likhna aapko plus you can rephrase your opinion whatever you have written in the introduction you paraphrase the same words with the different words you can rephrase i'll show you in upcoming slides so entire writing task too should not be less than 250 word if it would have less than 250 words you will be penalized and you won't get the uh, desired bands of task achievement and response so some people thinking how to count 250 or more than 250 words you can count one line if your line has 10 words and you have written 26 lines you would be on the safer side so ideally uh, so the safer range is 260 to 280 Okay, guys, any doubt till this point? Any doubt, Priyanka, no. No. Navjot? Okay, Brishma and Sujata, no. Okay, so guys, now we will do a small activity. Stay in the class. Don't leave the class. Some people just, you know, fear of speaking and they leave the class. Those who will participate, I will appreciate. Those who will not participate, don't worry. Just. observe the class so guys in our classes we have several activities we have integrated brainstorming activities and why we have done this because as per our research we have uh, we came to know that many of the student when they face a real ielts examination they feel blank over there like points are not coming to their mind to overcome this kind of disability we have integrated many activities in our classes so that you would have enough points in the real ielts exam so that you can practice these skills on everyday basis your trainer will help you to generate content and this will i mean you will inculcate it your habit your brain will start in this function so that in the real ielts exam you will have enough points to write down now we will do a small activity guys this is a real question which came into the real ielts exam in some countries many more people are choosing to live alone nowadays than in the past do you think this is a positive or ne positive or negative development guys i just need points so just imagine yourself that you are living alone in canada on student visa or as an immigrant just living alone over there what would be the advantages of living alone one by one guys
uh, Priyanka, you just uh, you have written in the chat box uh, that uh, asking me for can it appear? I didn't get it. Can you please elaborate? Open your mic. So activate your guys. Open your mic now. This is the time to speak up. Yes, Priyanka. Okay, guys, just imagine yourself. You're living alone in Canada. Tell me the advantages of living alone. So we will. The main, mm -hmm. So the main advantage is that so there is no restrictions Very uh, good. for telling them. Okay. One can and enjoy full freedom. Yes. Very good. And point. also, uh, there will be uh, no restrictions on eating. Also, so they can cook uh, themselves and they can eat whatever they want. No restrictions, no boundations, yes. full freedom, right? Yeah. And yes, sir, the cooking point we can integrate it in this way. Like one will learn numerous skills. So what is the main cardinal skill? One will learn first cooking, right? So yes. one will learn new skills such as cooking. What yes. else? And also they'll be uh, getting uh, responsibilities that how they should live with others. So one will become more responsible. So he or she will get on. to know how yes. to earn money, how to spend yes. money, That's how exactly. to save money. So ultimately he or she will learn budget management skills. Yes. Right. Guys, uh, participate. Um, only uh, Prem Vardhan is participating. Navjot, Priyanka, Rishma, Sujata. Just give me points, guys. I'm not asking for the lines. Navjot. Priyanka, Rishma, Sujata, open your mic, freely talk about it. This is a brain. And, mm -hmm. and one can manage his own time according to only by himself or herself. Okay. And because here his, his or her time, time management or what he wants to do in very good point. Four hours, and there mm -hmm. would be no interference of anyone else. Yes. So one will learn time management skills, right? Apart from this, one will expose to new cultures, expose to new things, right? Exposed to new, more exposure will be there. So exposed to new culture, people, things, environment, languages, right? Yes. Yeah. Good point. So guys, if you will participate, it will help you. It will give you a touch that how our classes will be there in the real time. So I would request Sujata, Rishma, Navjot as well to participate. Okay. What would be the another skill one will learn guys, apart from cooking, you will learn time management. You learn how to save money, spend money or time budget management. What another skills you can learn? Think of the basic things you're living alone in Canada. Only also cooking. the communication skill also will be uh, required. So uh, say we can cover into more con one will become more confident, independent, confident, right? Mm -hmm. So confidence level will be boosted. Yes. And interpersonal skills also. Interpersonal skills. Yes, we can say that how how you interpret it. So see interpersonal skills you can develop while living family with family as well, right? No, while living in a country in which we don't have any relative with us. So we can get to know each, we can get to know uh, our, uh, like our neighbors and other people's also mm -hmm. uh, whose language are different to us, whose culture and everything are different to us. So I think we can get a chance to communicate with them also. So yeah, that, that would come into more, more exposure, right? So yes. okay, okay. you will expose. Hmm. All right. So basic uh, idea behind is you have to make a pa parent line in that parent line. You can link your ideas, right? So we'll write down only those points eventually, uh, which we can explain well and justify in the later stage. So yeah, that can be integrated, ma'am. Uh, we can write down. Uh, see, you can every topic having thousands of points, even lakhs of points. Examiner yeah. knows that like he or she is not expecting us to write down all the point. He or she is expecting us to write down two, three points, elaborate it well, 
justify with the example that's it that is the entire game behind having higher bands i'll show you how to do that but so one so at that, at that moment we did means we didn't get those ideas you know while mm -hmm. after writing one it has been written then after we are just thinking that oh this has been forgot i, I would have wrote, I wrote that thing and these things so at, at the moment we, we don't get any ideas at the yeah this time. is the see sir so the now main, if i'll ask you if i'll ask you to face real time situation you will feel the same touch right yeah. so in first class your you know brain ideas will like jumbled in the second class little clarity will be there similarly step by step day by day you will have a furnished ideas every day even you will read newspaper your ideas will you know print in your mind that okay if this topic will come i'll write down these two three points you got my point so this is called brainstorming activities which we do on the daily basis so that you want stuck in the real ielts exam this is the entire idea behind it right this these things are not being followed by normal classes or normal you know institute so we do uh, i'm pursuing phd i have team of phd so we are you know constantly basis we are doing research on ielts material how to get higher bands all right guys tell me the biggest disadvantage of uh, Living uh, for alone. me, for the, for me, the biggest disadvantage is that let's say suppose if I'm living alone, so it gets uh, a disease. Uh, it's uh, the person will go in a depression. Mode. So if if he if he's going in a different countries and he's unable to uh, work and he does, he didn't used to get work, so he'll go in depression mode. Very good. So, so you, we can say homesickness somehow. homesickness yeah. due to homesickness one can feel loneliness due to loneliness one can fall into depression so depression could be the cause so it could be due to work or you know missing someone yes right so basically we have to link the ideas like people feel homesickness due to homesickness they feel loneliness due to loneliness they may fall into depression or sure. bad company right yes and also due to unrestricted lifestyles so they may also uh, get addicted to several bad habits very good so no one will be there to guide right so people may fall into bad prey okay third also, thing for example let's say Uh, if I'm if I'll be living alone, right, and something happened, uh, injury and all those stuff, so nobody will be taking care of ourselves. Very good point, no sir. Lack of family support, and no one will be there in case of emergency. As COVID nineteen happened, and those who were yeah. living alone, they know the pain, yeah. like how True. hard it was, right? So lack of family support, lack of family guidance. We can also say that lack of safety, mm. right? if he or she is living alone and bad people come to know they may attack right yes so lack of safety would be there somehow we can also add a financial you know point in this what financial point we can add guys financial crisis right yeah we would be having any financial support very good point yeah financial crisis because in family settings two three working hand would be there they bear the expenses you know together no doubt those who live alone might have less expenses than the family but they have to bear all the expenses alone car insurance car fuel home rent mortgage right financial crisis and due to financial crisis they may even still they, they can fall into you know bad habits like snatching crime they yeah. commit crimes right all right fair enough guys thank you so the basic purpose behind this activity is to let you know that these kind of activities will be there in our classes which help you to get more bands today uh, one of our student get wonderful bands 8.5 speaking 8 in i'll show you that in the at the end of the uh, session all right so uh, guys now i'm going to discuss the writing task 2 in detail using this method which i just described in some countries many more people are choosing to live alone nowadays than in the past 
do you think this is a positive or negative development guys we can explain this kind of we can attempt this kind of question in three ways we can write down all the positive positive in the, all the paragraph or negative negatives in the, all the paragraphs or we can balance the statement balance the statement we can say that it has more positive consequences than the negative ones we can show the extent like 70 percent positive 30 percent negative because everything in this world is having negatives some negative impacts so it is relevant that we, we can show it so in the first paragraph all the 70 positives in the second paragraph some negatives about it these days many people choose to live alone especially in metropolitan areas and this rate is far higher in developed countries such as canada and seems like this has become quite normal there see the length of the sentence guys it's a complex sentence in which we cover uh, journal comment and paraphrase together now in the question it is being asked do you think this is a positive or negative development we have to answer it in the introduction we have to show our site i believe this trend has more positive consequences than the few negative outcomes it offers so we have shown what we are thinking let us discuss the topic in detail before reaching to the conclusion this is the thesis line it also links the introduction with the body paragraph now in the body paragraph what we have to do we need to write down one point elaborate it well cite an example the single person family those who live alone we call it single person family is seen to be positive positive hai kaise hai from better personal skill development and economical perspective from two perspective it is positive for those who live alone how that we're going to elaborate it now a single member family now we shuffle the words single member family will use synonyms forces a person to learn some basic skills including cooking cleaning of house paying the utility bills managing personal finance purchasing daily commodities adopting hobbies and many more important skills until this point guys we have covered how a person will become efficient how it is better as per personal skill development like personal skill skills will develop automatically now we'll cover the economical perspective this makes someone self-dependent which has a greater impact on the development of the country in a broader sense in a broader sense means if someone will become self-dependent he or she will earn money he or she will pay taxes which will be beneficial for the as per economical perspective so we have covered the second perspective as well for instance research shows that students who stay away from their home for their tertiary degrees higher degrees learn more skills and become more self-dependent than pupil who study from home so here we have shown the comparison of those students who study from home and those who study far from home and they inculcate more skills so what we did we write down one point we elaborated from this point till this point we cite an example to support our main point you can make the example you can fabricate the example of example bana sakte hain the idea behind writing an example is to support the main point so you have to justify the point what you will write down that is the main idea behind it now in the second paragraph will follow the same structure one point explain it well cite an example to support our point from the opposite viewpoint as we have for balance the statement in the first paragraph we written all the positive in the second we'll write down some negatives the trend of increasing single person family has few negative outcomes as well How, what are the negatives that we're going to elaborate it now the increasing trend of living alone has a direct relationship on the percentage of people suffer from psychological problem these days those who live alone suffer more from psychological problems living alone creates loneliness and depression whereas those who live in a family settings always find someone to share their sadness and stress so again we have shown a comparison of those who live alone and those who live in a family setting if we show the comparison that's amazing to get higher bands 
the isolation often leads people to choose a lifestyle that is often negative how for example a recent study reveals that single person family members often rely on drugs and many of them become addicted because no one will be there to stop the human is a social being and living alone is against their natural tendency for many bearing the total expenses is tough and this leads them to get involved into crimes now what we did guys we write down one point we elaborated well from this point till this point and then we support the main point with an example now in the conclusion we need to write down the gist of the essay crux of the essay to encapsulate at the end to sum up these are the concluding phrases these phrases will be used the number of single person families is increasing in this contemporary era modern era and this has omnifarious omnifarious is a synonym of various this has various positive aspects despite some negative consequences so again guys we have reinforced our idea what we have written in the introduction with the different words we have written in the conclusion first we paraphrased then we rephrased now hence one can learn numerous cardinal skills numerous important skills of life if he or she chooses to live alone so guys this is the end of writing section if you have any question i would be more than happy to answer i just explained it using this method any question no. priyanka reshma prem vardhan no. no question sir no okay okay and reshma all right so guys after every session every day there will be speaking practice one to one speaking no group discussion we have very focused groups guys we do not give admission to any nonsense here student we have very strict policy about it because if there would be any nonsense here he or she will you know create a mess in the group so we do not give admission to nonsense here students only sincere students will be there so at the end of every class there will be speaking practice session you will be given one q car topic or other topics so basically the ielts exam speaking exam will take approximately 11 to 14 minutes in the real ielts exam three modules will be there first module will be of general questions where the examiner will ask you the question from generic question of generic in nature like tell me something about your previous studies your hobbies just like that after that in the second section that is called q card section in this section you will be given 1 minute to prepare for the topic at least you have to speak up for the 2 minutes how to prepare in less than 1 minute we teach our students with the various methods spider diagram wh family and other techniques we teach our student how to prepare the topic effectively creatively in less than 1 minute the basic idea behind this is how to attempt the task basically you have to you know speak up one to two lines you have to introduce the topic in one to two lines quickly you need to cover these bullet points then after in one to two lines you have to conclude the topic then adding a connector furthermore more over besides in addition to that you can extend the content as long as you want examiner may stop you after one and half minute so we have to cover each and everything in less than one and half hour we'll train you that in the classes plus what we train people on is the power of imagination guys we teach our student how to use power of imagination now what is the power of imagination basically you can add even those things in the conversation which are not existing for an example if someone would ask me to describe my hometown i would describe it as toronto michigan melbourne and still name my town if if examiner will ask me to describe my town i would say i live at ludhiana it is a cosmopolitan we have a wonderful lake on the southern side where people come to visit in the evening we have uh, you know various shopping plazas in our city we have world renowned university in our city we have world's oldest church in our city and our city is having perfect infrastructure just like this guys examiner is not going to check the facts of the conversation whether the world's oldest church is there or not 
he or she is going to check your fluency, sentence structure, your body gesture, whether you're going to achieve the task or not, your task relevancy, your grammatical errors. So everything is going to be assessed, but not the facts. So this is how we help our students to enhance the imagination power, to use the imagination power on daily basis. So you'll have enough points in the real life exam. So guys, this is the end of demo session. I would be more than happy to answer your questions if you have. So speaking Any? will be taken by one to one, right? Sorry? Not speaking will be taken uh, one to one, not in group, right? Sir, in the group, every person will be on the mute phase. Only one trainer and one student will be on the unmute phase as we are talking, right? Okay. So it will be more alike, like one to one, but the, the benefit of having a class is you can learn from six, five, six brains instead of only tutor. If someone is, you know, talking about any topic and trainer will elaborate the mistakes. You can learn from those people as well. You got my point. Yeah. Yeah. So, sir, we are getting amazing bands. Our students are getting amazing bands. We are getting wonderful results. Uh, if you would like to do some background research, I would say I would encourage you all of you to go to Google type Vineyard English and you will come to know about our brand. We are registered guys, government registered firm and we are running our institute, our head office at uh, Jagrao. And if you go little down, you will be able to see our, you know, classes we are conducting pre IELTS. Uh, this is my certificate. I'm graduated from Humber College, Toronto. Uh, my master is from Toronto and uh, we have uh, direct, uh, you know, immigration office at Toronto as well. If you explore the reviews, guys, you will see until today, we have 121 five star reviews with excellent remarks of our students. You can read all the reviews and we have zero negative review guys even zero four star reviews all the reviews are five star reviews and you can check and read these and this is a great thing for a company to have zero negative review so basically we're working on the value pattern guys if will satisfy you will you will definitely recommend us in the future right so in the package this account will provide you for six months this application will provide you six months your trainer will be idb or bc certified so any question guys so how shall yeah, we? Yeah, actually, I want to ask: uh, Is there any scope for having weekend classes? Uh, Ma'am, we have regular classes from Monday till Friday. Saturday there will be mock test. Sunday is off, but we will send you material on Sunday, uh, tips, training. Ma'am, actually, weekend classes we barely, you know, provide you the benefits. So I would recommend you. We have various timings, like. Uh, journal uh, classes we started at 6 30 a.m. First class uh, journal modules are taken care by the Anuradha ma'am. She is having more than 17 years of experience and certified trainer. So if you even do a smallest mistake, she will point it out and eradicate your, you know, uh, give you the conceptual knowledge. So for journal, we have 6 30 a.m. available slot. We have 7 p.m. We have 9 p.m three groups are running and slots are available over there. So that is not an issue. Weekend classes will not give you benefits. I can bet on it and don't take but weekend as classes. we are having our office timings also and some of the people like my husband is going on uh, going regular office and his office is kind of like uh, he has to move uh, in the morning around 8.30 and he will back by uh, 10 or 10.30 or sometime 9.30 in the e evening. So is there any solution to this? See, ma'am, you're planning for Canada, right? So Canada yeah. is your dream country to you want to move there, right? So little bit sacrifice you have to do at your own end. So you can he can opt 6.30 a.m. class till 6.30 uh, a.m. Okay, okay. I thought it's 6.30 p.m. No, no, no. See, All we, right. ha okay. we have, uh, you know, built the sessions as per requirement of professionals. Many of the professionals yeah. yes. can't, uh, you know, spare time after 8 p.m. or 9 a.m. So yes, 6.30 yes, exactly. to 8, he can attend and uh, you also can, if you are preparing as well, you can also attend. So we have three sessions, early morning, 6.30 6 a.m., evening okay. session, 7 p.m. and 9 mm -hmm. p.m. Right. 
All right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're okay. welcome. Man. Thank you. Any other question? There will be a daily classes of one hour, right? Sorry. There will be daily classes of one hour, right?